Hi, Year One. We're thinking about our um, car design that we're going to make for our MIT challenge. It's going to be a Billy or Betsy Bulldog superhero car. So we're going to have this template, and I'm just going to talk to you first about painting it. So you're going to pick a colour, mix it up in your lid, and then you're going to paint it onto your template. Now. I, I did most of it already because the main thing I want you to know is you don't need to paint these little tabs. They're called glue tabs and they're the little pieces that are going to hold the car together when we fold it up into a 3D model. Now we're not going to fold it into a 3D model until we've finished all the artistic designs on it first. But when we do fold it up, these are going to be glued to hold the car together. So I did blue. For my background colour, you do not have to do blue. You can do any colour you like, or you could even do a mixture of different colours in different places. We're going to come back later and add details to this. This is just a background layer. So, once you've made your background layer, the next thing I'm going to talk to you about is making a little Billy or Betsy Bulldog logo. Okay, so here's, here's a little piece of paper for one that I did earlier. I'm going to show you how you're going to do your own one. Now, I know this looks small, but it's just the right size for adding onto your template when it's all finished and coloured in. So, this is how you make one of these. So, let's put this out of the way. So, step one is really near the top of your paper. You're going to do a teeny little mountain like this, okay? And then you're going to come over here and do a little kind of floating mountain over here. And then kind of an equal distance, you're going to do another kind of sideways floating mountain over here. So your first step looks like this. It almost looks like a bit of a sad face with two sad eyes. So a little bump there, a little bump there, a little bump there. Right, now with these two, these are going to become the bulldog's ears and they're kind of a little bit like a triangle. So you're going to turn that into a bit of a curvy triangle and then you're going to have a go at doing the same over here. Okay, so there's your triangle. Now, between here and here, we're going to put in one more little bump. There we go. Okay, now the next thing we're going to do is a circle. It's going to be a bit of a squashy circle though, and it's going to start halfway down our page and it's going to fill up kind of the bottom part of our little piece of paper. So can you see it's more of an oval, so a squashy circle, kind of an oval shape. And then all we need to do here is just go from the corner of the ear to the oval and then over here corner of the ear to the oval okay now the next thing we're going to do is put a nose in and the nose goes right at the top of this circle where that middle dot is so I'm going to color that in now the next thing we do is a straight line okay and then we turn this into not quite a triangle but we do do some lines that kind of look like if they kept going they'd turn into a triangle and that's the bulldog's mouth and if you want to you can even add a couple of pointy teeth okay the next thing we're going to do is put two eyes in now the eyes go right next to the nose on that same curvy line so I put one there and I put one there now on our school logo our bulldog looks a bit grumpy so he's got eyebrows that come down like that and like that he's a bit of a grumpy bulldog okay now if you want to you can make those grumpy eyebrows a bit thicker because our school logo he has quite thick grumpy eyebrows okay and then he even has a little bit that goes there in the middle okay so there you go that's your uh, billy bulldog if you want to make a betsy bulldog the best way to do it is to add a circle there and then just turn it into a bow. Okay, and then it becomes a Betsy Bulldog. And if you want to make it even more like a girl, you can flick some eyelashes on the eyes. Okay, so just to recap, pick a color 
or a mixture of colours and paint your template. And then on a separate small piece of paper, you're going to make a bulldog logo. Okay, right. Well done, you one.